is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves so Somewhere in the great unknown Good morning beautiful people It is a beautiful rainy day I'm sorry I'm trying to talk quietly Because everybody is still sleeping and I don't want to wake them up because I want to have this time to myself. I used to always wake up earlier in our old house and just kind of sit and have the morning to myself before everybody else woke up. But here, I don't wake up as early, first of all, different habits. And then second of all, when I do, this space is so small that everybody hears you. Everybody hears the coffee machine, everything. They're like, oh, it's morning, time to wake up. So hasn't been working as well here. Um, by the way, I have like this massive cold sore that took over half of my lip. It started popping up a few days ago. So I started taking, um, for me personally, what helps is usually taking L-lysine. It's an amino acid. It usually works like a charm. This time, this thing took over like half my lip without within the past couple of days. It's like the biggest one I have ever seen. And it's actually like painful. I don't know what is going on from like my cracked tooth which I'm trying to take care of. We're trying to find a dentist here if you watched the previous vlog. I was eating chocolate and half my tooth, not half, I'm being dramatic, like a quarter of my tooth um, and the back end in the corner. But yeah, it's a nice rainy day. I thought I would love today. I love, love, love the sound of rain. It's like my absolute favorite. I actually sleep to the sound of rain. Either that or like some kind of brown noise or something. It's like my favorite thing to listen to. I don't love being in the rain, but I do want to run a few errands today. I want to go to pick up an Amazon order and just kind of like frolic out and about. It's the weekend, get out of the house a bit. So I totally forgot that the main reason I wanted to vlog today is because I wanted to tone my own hair and I wanted to include that in a vlog, not a dedicated video because this is not a tutorial by any means. Not a professional. This is just me trying to tone my own hair at home, show you before and after and hopefully hope that it works out. So hopefully it works out. This is one of those things that it can either go really well and I'll be really happy with it or it can go not so well. We will see. But back in my hair, I colored it back in like December I was kind of over the grown out blonde and it was like looking stringy on the end so I ended up cutting it as well so I colored it cut it not long after and it was like this nice dark blonde color I'll try to insert a photo if I can find it I should be able to find it I started washing out a little bit and then I was kind of over the dark hair I feel like I look best with really light hair I'll try to insert a photo of like light hair and just for my complexion and everything I just prefer lighter hair but I didn't want to bleach it. I wanted to take care of my hair. Didn't want to bleach it, so I decided let me try a sun-in spray. So I found this on Amazon. It's called Sun Touched, and I've been using it for some time now. And we were at the beach, so it was like perfect timing. You can use it um, in direct sunlight or with like a blow dryer. It definitely lightened my hair quite a bit, but I was not loving how orange it was looking. So I started using a purple shampoo. I would use a purple shampoo every single time I'd wash my hair. But I feel like now my hair is just like this orangey yellow concoction, like literally the color of this book. Like this book and I have the exact same color and I, I hate it. Like I actually hate it. I'm not a fan whatsoever, especially in this lighting. Like in certain natural light, it's not so bad, but in like indoor lighting. So I figured, let me try toning it because what's the worst that can happen, right? So I bought the beloved Wella Color Charm T18 and 20 volume developer and we're gonna give it a try. There's so many videos on YouTube that you can watch for great information, like Elle Banks. She has so many great videos in terms of toning especially. Um, there's one video that she does and she says that people who use, she combined T18 with T11 to give it like an in-between sandy and ashy tone, like in the middle there. And with 20 volume, volume developer, she said 25% of people didn't have a great outcome because with T18 you have to have pretty light hair. Like it has to have either highlighted or bleached or something of the sorts. My hair is not really either. I would say a good chunk of it is grown out. And then the rest is just whatever Sun Touched did to my hair. So this can go either really well or really bad because my hair has like a lot of things going on. 
not necessarily bleach so i'm not sure how it's gonna pick up she mentioned what can potentially happen is if you have a lot of root or if you have darker hair to begin with that's not necessarily bleached but it's colored it can lift it to an unwanted brassy color and then you end up with brassier hair than you want it to so i don't know we'll see we will see right i mean what's the worst that can happen that's what we all say all right my hair is damp i'm gonna put some gloves on i just realized i don't even have um like the brush that you use to apply it to your hair and we're still doing it we're still this is why this isn't a vlog because this is definitely not a tutorial by any means i just honestly want to tone my own hair share that and then hopefully the after looks nice so yeah i saw the before it was like super orangey i'm gonna add one part wella color charm toner with two parts of the developer into a bowl we're gonna mix it up i'm gonna start at the top because this is where i apply the most of the sun in and that's where it's the most brassy orange got the toner and developer in a bowl mix 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 i wish i had a brush so do not try this at home we're just gonna slather it on this way and then i'm gonna brush it through definitely not ideal just wanted to show you some progress but i did so i divided my hair into two sections here in the front i did one here half of it here in the front and then the two the lower bottom half here i divided into two sections as well it's just easier for me to work this way and what i would do is kind of use the rat tail part of the comb to divide a section take some of that toner apply it to the root make sure it like really saturates the root run it through the rest of the hair and kind of brush it out to make sure that there are, aren't any clumps. So that's just kind of what I've been doing, like a quick rundown in case everybody's interested. Again, I said this is not a tutorial. It's like one of those do not try this at home things. I'm already starting to see it turn a little bit from purple. So I'm going to do this last section, get it to about 20 minutes, I would say. And then hopefully it gets rid of those orangey, brassy shades. we will see i think i'm gonna give my hair like five minutes five more minutes or so before i wash it out but i wanted to share a funny story i have been looking for these sunglasses for such a long time i literally thought i lost them i looked through all my purses the car everywhere and i know i took them in the rv when we went traveling i'm like where are they so i have this drawer here where i keep like all my nail stuff and then i have this little basket here where i keep glasses and sunglasses so i was picking out what glasses to wear for the day and then i was putting everything back and as i was closing the drawer i guess one of the glasses fell behind and i was like wow look at all these sunglasses and stuff that i have back here i have like two pairs of glasses a pair of sunglasses back there it's like the catch-all drawer i had that never happened, I would have never realized that I even lost other pairs of glasses. So, funny little story, but I just wanted to share that funny little story. But I think I'm going to wear these glasses. I get my glasses from, well actually I don't know. I get my, or maybe I'll pick green ones. I have green ones as well, but I think I have to dig them out because I think they fell down. I get them from Firmoo, F-I-R-M-O-O dot com. They have such great prices. You just make you have to make sure you have your prescription. And you can shop from like all these different... It takes a little bit because I think they come from overseas. So it takes a little bit of time to ship. But they have so many nice options. Very, very affordable as well. So that's where I got all my like prescription type glasses. So yeah, funny little story. Hey right, guys, this is the after. Same exact lighting situation. I feel like I definitely get rid of a lot of the oranginess. It still has like some warmth to it. Like it's pulling a bit more yellow now. But again, my hair wasn't bleached. It didn't have highlights in it per se. It was just like an all over color. So overall, not bad. It actually looks a lot lighter on camera than it does in person. That's very interesting because in person it's looking a little bit more, I don't know how to explain it. Kind of more like this. I feel like I probably could have left it in for a little bit longer. I was just a little scared because I've never toned like all over hair color before so i wasn't sure like i didn't want it to be funky or anything like that so toner doesn't last forever so maybe next time that i do it i'll probably keep it for a little bit longer but yeah i mean i'm pretty happy with it it's not a hundred percent what i wish it was but then again my hair wasn't bleached or anything wanted to show what the hair looks like in natural light and i actually really really like it in natural light it looks like a really nice 
blonde. I wish it looked like this indoors, but obviously there's such a stark difference in how hair looks indoors and in natural light. But yeah, I'm very happy with this here. At first I thought it was like a bit of a fail because I didn't see too much of a difference, but here it looks really, really nice. I made myself a matcha latte with some lavender. I bought this lavender syrup on Amazon and it is so good. It's from brand Wavy, I think it's called. I'll try to link it down below. If you love lavender, adding lavender to matcha lattes is, it's been like a game changer. They feel so sophisticated. <laughs> But I'm gonna go to Target. My package isn't out for delivery yet, so I might not even be able to pick it up today. I love rain. Look at these rainy days. It's just that it's cold. It's like a little bit cold. Oh, somebody's walking their doggy. Look at how cute. I wanted to grab one of these and compare it to the e.l.f. one. I am in shock. I cannot believe that they actually have Stanleys here in stock. Like, should I? I Part of me doesn't want to buy it simply because they're every influencer has them so i'm like mm, no i actually really love my simple modern one we're gonna have to pass on you stanley although stanley is such a good camping brand we have like a, a few camping mugs for them like outdoor stuff and then i feel like influencers took over and then here we are good morning it is now two mornings since the last clip you guys saw uh, we just had like a family day yesterday we were hanging out and then i finally picked up my amazon package which i'll share about today as i get ready Viana's already awake here and everybody else is gonna slowly wake up it's monday mondays are days to like start a new homeschooling week i have to do their agendas um and hopefully we'll go to the library Aviana loves the library we got to return some books because she's done with hers i actually turned on some smooth jazz music on um youtube I love like the coffee shop scenes where you have like those beautiful scenes with the big windows. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're real. A lot of them look like they're from, like AI almost. Um, you have like snow outside, AI. artificial intelligence. I don't know, it looks like it's um, digi digitally created. I don't think it's like a real scene. Sometimes you have like a cat in there, a book going back and forth, like the pages going back and forth. But she's like, how come they don't have books in coffee shops nowadays? And I'm like, yeah, that's a good question. It's very rare to find a coffee shop these days with, like, books in it. Most people just, like, go in and out, in and out. I'm sure, I'm, of course, I'm sure there are some out there. But I would, like, majority-wise, I would say a lot of them, they kind of don't. We had one back home. It was so cute. It had, like, all these different types of chairs. Like, nothing matched, per se, but it had such a nice, cozy vibe to it. And then upstairs, they had, like, a whole wall of books and stuff, so... It would have been cool if like there were a lot more of those kind of coffee shops. I think it'd be nice to like sit down and read sometimes. I mean, obviously people can bring their own books, but yeah, fun thought of the day. Went to Ross yesterday and I picked up this super cute sweater. It's from Disney. I feel like with Ross, sometimes it's hit or miss, which we rarely go, but I wanted to get some shoes for the kids. And usually they have pretty good deals on the kids' shoes. But I found this sweater and I thought it was so cute. It's like the sea foam, sagey green color. And it's Winnie the Pooh, and then it says, take time for yourself. I was like, no, I have to buy that. That is so cute. It was $14.99, $15, such a steal. I'm like, no, we are buying that. Another thing I wanted to mention, I have my water here. I posted about that clip about the Stanleys, and I posted it to my Instagram stories, and I feel like Stanleys are, can be one of those topics that people were like hardcore defend. I like the Stan Stanley brand. We have a Stanley like for camping. They're a great camping brand. They make really good quality products, but their market has changed so much because of TikTok and social media. I was saying like I just don't get the hype. Like how people like completely overhype it sometimes. Not everyone, but sometimes or maybe it's just because you're constantly seeing it. So but then again people will resell their Stanleys for like upwards to hundred dollars for like certain colors. It's like it's become one of those things. And I'm like, y'all. It's a tumbler. <laughs> like, relax. It's a tumbler. That's just how I feel. Like, yes, yeah, some of the colors are really cute, but to pay like close to 100 bucks for like a limited edition color for a Stanley, I don't know. But then again, people do that with other things all the time, so I guess it just depends. It's truly personal preference. But anyway, since I drink a lot of water, I was not a lot of water, but I drink more water than I have. I was watching Nicole Guerrero's vlog yesterday, and she was saying how she started adding sea salt flakes to her water which is not new information to me a lot of people will do that instead of electrolytes because of the trace minerals magnesium things like that so they'll add like sea salt to the water or they will take sea salt which is what she does she'll take like a 
half teaspoon or something and then drink water and then she noticed she doesn't go to the bathroom as much like she's not peeing as much so i was like okay i need to try that and see if it works instead of buying um electrolytes they have like the flavor packets from element i have them in my car on amazon and since i already have sea salt i figured you know let me try i bought this sometime last year for like the adrenal cocktails that has been going around for a while now it's like orange juice with coconut water i would do like the canned coconut water the thicker one and it tastes like an orange creamsicle so good and then like a pinch of sea salt so that's what i originally bought it for um and they say the wetter the better <laughs> with sea salt so you know this one seems pretty good although this is not the original i dumped a different packet in here i bought both of them on amazon but i used this one all up it says like sonsa on it i don't remember exactly where it's from somewhere in europe as well and then I got a refill of this one. This one's from France, I believe. And I just poured it in here. But you can find so many on Amazon. So I tried it this morning. I took a teaspoon, not even a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of salt, sea salt. Put it in my mouth. I drank the water, finally got it down. And then it felt like it was just sitting there for like 15 minutes. It, it just felt, it felt like it's going to come up. It's going to come up. This is the worst idea I've ever tried so I probably won't repeat it I don't know why but it just did not sit well with me so I probably wouldn't repeat it so if you don't mind sea salt I feel like it would be a great method but for me it was definitely a no-go like even now I kind of remember the taste I don't know it just like wasn't sitting right so I'm not gonna do that again but I might try the element element ones and probably add those to my water they have like different flavored ones and i think they might have unflavored there's so many different kinds nowadays but yeah just thought i would share that tidbit it was a fail for me but if you don't mind then it's worth a shot you might be able to hear you know what i'm starting to think that my hair didn't change too much like the ton toner didn't do too much so i might have to end up highlighting my hair after all i'm gonna have to try to do as much research as i can and try to diy that um, it's just so much easier like doing my nails but actually I got some nails in yesterday that was one of the things that I picked up so BT Art Box is one of my favorite nail brands and now they have milky white nail tips so really excited about these they're basically like a you know like that milky white nail base that has been going around in order to do your like the glazed donut look this is essentially that and then you just apply a top coat I'll try to do a whole video on that I'm gonna let my cold sore here heal a little bit before then um, but yeah, this hair, it's like, I guess it just depends on certain lightings. I feel like it got a little bit better, but still, I don't know. Anyway, I was wearing the 4-in-1 Glow Perfector all day yesterday, and I actually prefer this. I think I prefer it to the Elf Halo Glow. I've only used it once, but I feel like it's not as, sh not shimmery, but it offers more of a glow from within type look. Whereas this one, it adds like this metallic-y look to the skin. So I'm going to apply it to my hand here and show you guys kind of the difference. They look very similar. It's easier to tell on the face than like one spot on the hand. But I will say that I think if you want like that glow from within, then this one might be a little bit better in my opinion. And I have this one in shade light. It is lighter though. I feel like the e.l.f. one is like thicker in consistency. This one seems like it's a bit of a lighter formula. And it looks very similar on the hand, but I just feel like the e.l.f. one, it just has more like this metallic-y um, look to it versus the Maybelline one. So, I don't know. So far, I feel like I prefer the Maybelline one, but I'm going to have to keep like playing around with it and see. And then I got the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder here, which actually has really nice reviews. And then I swatched it on my hand. And I want to show you guys that as well because it seems like it has a very pretty iridescent type finish. Well, I'm actually swatch it on a place where I don't have the glowing powders or foundations. Do you see that? It offers like, it offers like a really nice iridescent pearly type finish. So it seems promising. It's very affordable. Instead of trying it with the Maybelline 4-in-1 Glow Perfector. I have already tried this and I actually really like the finish. Let me actually apply some on my forehead to show you guys because I think the forehead is the one spot where it really shows up if it's like too metallic-y. And again, I have mine in the shade light medium. But it just gives like a healthy glow. Like none of that metallic-y looking Tin Man which I have like a love-hate relationship with the e.l.f. one because I feel like sometimes I look at it and I'm like, wow, it's I look like J.Lo. And then I'll be like, no, you look like the Tin Man. Like, 
it's not a good look so i have like a love-hate relationship with this one but this one i would say give it a try i feel like i like that one more it just offers a really nice almost like glow from within type look so to test the elf halo glow powder i want to use something a little bit more matte I'm going to try it with the Lancome. This is their new Tante Idol Ultra Wear Karen Glow Formula. I just did a review on this. It is pricey, but product sits so beautifully. Like My bronzers sit so beautifully on this. It has, I would say, light medium coverage. Um, and it's kind of like a glowier version of their original formula, which I do think it is. Um, I would just say if you have like dry patches, probably stay away from it. You might not like it, but if you have like dry skin that's like your skin barrier is not compromised or if you have normal skin I can't speak for oily skin I have no idea then I think you might like it it does have a bit of a scent to it though so I don't know why like super luxury brands always do that like their makeup products their skincare products always have to be super like scented and have so much fragrance in them I don't know maybe that's like a thing so this is just one light layer and I do like how it like immediately gives you like this nice nice base to work with and i feel like one layer is enough it feels very light on the skin it has like skincare ingredients built in with a little bit of spf and then products sit so beautifully on top and it wore really well throughout the day so i'm gonna try it now with some of that elf halo glow i have my little poof here from lilac street which i think is so great for applying product it says pour powder here for a halo glow they have like a little stick on, sticker on here or something. And then just dab some of that powder. I like to wipe off the excess of it so it's not too much. I'm going to apply some on the under eye, which is where I usually apply powder. The powder feels very light on the skin. Um, it's not giving me like cake face or anything. But I wouldn't say it's like as sheeny, sheeny as I thought it would be. Okay, I added a light in the front here to kind of see a little bit better. And I feel like I see the sheen a bit better with a light like it reflects it a bit more than without the light so i do like that i feel like it's a good powder it's very finely milled it's not like super sheeny and shimmery it almost reminds me of like the baked powders a little bit and it adds just the most subtle amount of something i'm gonna keep playing around with it and see but i mean it's very affordable and i i, I would definitely try it i feel like it's a nice thing to try and have in your collection let me finish the rest of my face. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. to use a lash serum i feel like i'm trying out a few new lash products i went pretty heavy with my lashes these are from a lilac street i stacked some feathers and then i used a prism in the inner corner and i really like this look on lashes like mine that are a little bit more fine i have to be careful um, about wearing lashes this heavy for like five seven days because it over time and using it for long periods of time like over and over again i feel like it does eventually wear the lashes down a bit so keep that in mind i know that they're they don't damage the lashes per se but it's like tape and extensions i'm giving myself a break from tape and extensions as well and i feel like my hair is a lot healthier even though they don't damage your hair i do feel like for certain hair types and certain people certain circumstances it can weigh the hair down the lashes down so just be mindful of the condition of your lashes your hair things like that when you do stuff like that this is the final makeup look here products sit so beautifully on this foundation i feel like when it comes to foundation it is definitely worth investing in foundation like if you're going to invest in anything like brow glues brow products nyx has amazing brow products some of my all-time favorites i don't know why it's not focused but i used the brow glue with the micro brow pencil in cool ash brown they have some of the best products. Lip products, I feel like you can definitely find some great affordable ones. Powders, sometimes bronzers. But I feel like for foundation, it is worth investing. So this one's really nice, but my all-time favorite is still the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. 
So I would say these two are probably my favorites so far that I've tried when it comes to like luxury premium brand. I have the NARS one here, but I don't really use it. I kind of got a shade that's a little bit too dark for me. Although I do think it's nice and it works well on dry skin. I just don't use it as much. I don't know. I have to kind of play around with it in the summertime. So I have that one, but so far, so far, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It's like a cult favorite. And then this one right here. I do like it. I like how it sits on my skin if I don't have like compromised dry flakes or anything like that. Anyway, enough rambling. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'll link any products I talked about down below if you guys are interested. But I would recommend trying the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I think it's really nice. And then if you wanted to try the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, I would say try the Perfector 4-in-1 Glow. Just give it a try. I feel like this one might be better, but it might just be me talking. But yeah, thank you guys for hanging out, and hopefully I'll see you guys very, very soon. Hold on, we'll be together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all.